Hello, my dear young friends. Happy to see you again. In my last previous uh, session, I told you about after 20 years, the wonderful story written by O. Henry. I told you about the friendship between uh, Jimmy Wells and Bob who have honored their commitment to meet 20 years after they parted. Now the story comes to a very interesting turn. I am Professor Krishna H.S. from Government First Rate College, Kargodi, Bangalore. So in this session, I will take you to the critical analysis and uh, a comprehension of this story. Welcome my dear young friends to this wonderful session of learning. Yes, now we will have a brief revision, a recap of what we had done in the previous sessions so that you can uh, refresh your learning and you can revise uh, these important points. So here the story is revolving around two friends who are Bob and Jim. Jimmy Wells, I mean, the full name. So they are meeting each other for after a gap of 20 long years and they're quite different from what they had imagined because uh, the world has changed a lot. The world has changed a lot in 20 years of time. And now the place where they're meeting is a hardware store, which was earlier a restaurant, which was named as Big Joe Brady. And uh, Bob is alone waiting for his friend uh, Jimmy and he has been uh, questioned, inquired by a policeman who is doing his duty of patrolling. And the policeman wants to find out why this gentleman Bob is standing there at 10 p.m. in the night on the de-peopled kind of a street in the city of New York. It gives rise to many questions when a person is standing in such kind of a place at that point of time. The policeman had to be convinced and uh, he is pretty satisfied with the answers given by Bob. That is that he is indeed waiting for his friend Jimmy and they had made a pact that they would be meeting after 20 years of time. The policeman is convinced. And now going to the comprehension of the story, how the story gets elaborated. As you know, these two friends are meeting again in near a hardware a shop, which was earlier the restaurant. And Bob is indeed a criminal who, who is waiting, who is waiting to meet his old friend and he doesn't know that his old friend, his buddy, his close friend, his pal, his cutie pie, he is indeed the policeman who has been assigned the task of arresting Bob. That is the tragic part of the story here. So Bob is a criminal and Bob doesn't know. Bob is living now in the past. Bob is standing there waiting for his friend, but Bob is walking down the memory lane. He is relishing all the old memories which he had with his buddy, his friend, Jimmy. Both of them were very close friends. They were raised like brothers in the city of New York. And Bob definitely missed his friend a lot. That is why he was very eager to meet and to tell him how tough it was to spend 20 years of life without his friend Jimmy. Bob is shown there 
with expensive, expensive diamond watch. It is not easy to have a diamond watch. Being in New York, it's not definitely easy because New York is a very expensive place to live in. And a person with expensive personal items such as a diamond watch, definitely a lot of eyebrows will be raised as to what is the source of his income. Definitely a lot of questions have to be answered. Was Bob pursuing a legitimate or an illegitimate profession? Bob definitely is not beyond the law. So now we find that Bob has been uh, the wanted criminal and the Chicago police are behind Bob. He has to be nabbed at any cost. So a trap has been laid and uh, Bob is known here as the Silky Bob. Silky Bob is the code name given to Bob and he is very much wanted by the Chicago police. And Bob had been having a wonderful time. He, he thought that he had been holding his friend Jimmy's arm and both of them they were very happy they thought and uh, Bob was walking holding Jimmy's arm in the dark streets of New York at the place near the hardware store and they move around and finally when they walk around the corner of a drugstore it so happens that Bob is really shocked shocked as to what happened Bob is really shocked because the electric light bulb which was there near the drugstore at the corner of the street the light was enough for revealing the face of the person who was holding Bob the face of the person was not of his friend Jimmy the person was somebody else the person was indeed the policeman sent by Jimmy Wells to arrest Bob. Bob recognizes him. He is a different person. The person who had been holding me was not my friend. The person was definitely a different one. He was a policeman. Look at his nose. My friend had a beautiful Roman nose. And this person has a pug nose. That is the giveaway that shows that Bob was indeed trapped. Bob was under arrest for a quite some time. He was under arrest for more than 10 minutes of his interaction with the person who took him around the streets of New York. But why did uh, Jimmy do this? Jimmy did not have the guts, did not have the guts to arrest his old friend. Jimmy was definitely moved by the thought of arresting his old friend. Jimmy could not even think of it. But at the same time, Jimmy never compromised his professional ethics. Professional ethics were definitely on a higher pedestal than the bonds of friendship. For him, duty meant the most. His friendship was not allowed to override his duty of being a very sincere police uh, official. Therefore, Jimmy was very much present at that place, but he was hiding. 
and he assigned this task of uh, arresting to his colleague the another policeman who met this criminal bob and finally bob had to be arrested bob was arrested without any second thought and jimmy performed both the duties as a police official he did his job of arresting the most wanted criminal and as a friend he was there at that time that the time which was committed to 20 long years back that they would meet at big joe brady restaurant at 10 pm in the night so jimmy definitely has performed his duty as a sincere police official and at the same time has lived up to his commitment and promise as a loyal friend now quickly summarizing the contents of this session as you know the story revolves around these two guys bob and jim both of them are meeting after 20 years and uh, the world has definitely changed a lot between these two guys one being a wanted criminal and the other one being a sincere police official and the place where they meet is the hardware store which was earlier a restaurant and uh, bob uh, convinces the police official that he is trying to meet his old friend and the policeman who is being sent to arrest bob uh he has very tough time doing this job but he has to follow the orders and uh, jimmy has sent this policeman to arrest his old buddy his his pal bob now let me check the comprehension part so that we can analyze as to how effective the learning has been let me give you a few multiple choice questions so as to gauge the understanding of this lesson i really enjoyed it hope uh, you too did now the first question here is bob recognizes that he is not holding jimmy and where at which place does bob gets this kind of a uh, thought he really you know is taken aback he is surprised which is that place is it the drug store or the hardware store or the software store what which is the place it is definitely the drug store where the electric lights fall on the face of the person who was holding bob's arms and bob there immediately he snaps he shrugs off he tells him to get away because he is not in jimmy now the next question bob was known as what by the police was he known as the cotton bob danger or silky bob the answer to this question is bob was known as silky bob by the police bob made out the difference of what exactly when he realized the other person was not jimmy so what was the deciding factor there yes was it the eyes ears nose or none of the above the answer here is it is the nose because there is a difference he tells that you are definitely not my friend whom i could recognize even after 20 years your nose is definitely not the beautiful roman nose which my friend had yours is the pug Jim is finally seen as being dashed to his official duty 
Jim is loyal, disloyal, or none of the above. Certainly, Jim is loyal to his duty. Jim has not compromised anywhere. Bob had to be actually arrested by who was a person who was assigned to do this job of arresting Bob. Was it Jim or the long overcoat fellow whom you come across in the story or none of the above? Bob had to be originally actually arrested by Jim. But Jim did not have the guts to arrest his friend and so he asks another policeman to go and do his duty. Well, my dear friends, for further references, you can uh, uh, read the textbook for further information also. And for further reference, you can always go to this link and uh, you can get more information about this very interesting, fantastic, marvelous story. A wonderful short story written by O. Henry after 20 long years. I have indeed uh, enjoyed reading this short story, which was nothing less than a suspense thriller. And definitely it has brought wonderful uh, knowledge, wonderful knowledge about friendship, the feeling of friendship, which definitely has been uh, dying around because people definitely ignore friendship at the cost of money and other things. But there is nothing like friendship. Friendship overrides everything. But here, the irony of the fate was duty, the official police duty was seen overriding friendship. This is the irony of fate. Thank you, my dear friends, for you me, giving me your patient uh, hearing. I hope uh, I have brought some clarity in your understanding. Thanks a lot, my dear friends. Enjoy learning. Happy learning to all of you. Thank you one and all, my dear friends.